YouTube, it's Jermaine back with another video and in this video I'm going to talk about all the cameras I use to make my YouTube videos. Um, first off is the GoPro. This is a camera that I don't use as much as I used to. I used to use this camera all the time. This was my camera show right here. I would make everything with this one. And also my iPhone 6s, the one I'm filming on right now. That's why the phone's not in the video. And anyway. This camera is pretty sweet because you can put it, you can attach it to stuff like this tripod. You can take this to a tripod and you can attach it to like a tree branch and you can have your GoPro up in a tree like this, hanging down, getting some footage while you're skateboarding or doing whatever you're doing. Um, what I would use this one for is I used to sit up in the car on the dashboard like so. So when I would drive, you could see me. Like I could just be talking and like have both hands in the scene like, hey, I'm driving. So that's what I would use this crazy tripod for. This is the GoPro. This The cool thing about this camera is waterproof right out of the box. Things that I don't like about the GoPro, main reason why I stopped using this camera was because of the audio. Um, by this camera being so small, so if you're walking with this camera, and you're walking carefully, it's totally fine, but if there's any like background noise here, or if there's any noise around you, that's going to pick it up in the video. So what I would do is I would switch cases. So I had all these different cases. I was on Amazon just buying different cases and some would work better than others. I was like, dude, I need to like get another camera. Like this is driving me insane. So what I did was I just stepped up my game and I got the Luminex G7. And this here is basically a budget 4K DSLR. This is one of the cheapest. 4K DSLRs that you can get out there on the market. And this is also a mirrorless camera, which makes it really light, like really light. Um, right before I got this camera, I was thinking about getting the Canon 7D, um, but that is a, it's kind of an older camera. It doesn't shoot 4K. The camera's really heavy. Um, cool thing about that camera, it, it has really awesome autofocus. Um, but I decided to go for this one because I thought, hey, I'm going to be doing a lot of vlogging. I'm going to be doing a lot of walking and I want a, a lighter camera. Um, I attached this Gorilla Pod on the bottom. This is not a Joby Gorilla Pod. This is one of those cheap ones from Amazon. I'm actually trying to see how long this thing will last for. This is one of my other ones. As you can see, it's kind of broken up with tape around it. That's because I literally broke it for a scene. Um, so I'm going to try to see how long this one lasts. Really awesome thing about this camera is it has a flip out screen. So when I'm walking and vlogging, unlike, unlike using the GoPro, because the GoPro, what I would do is just pull out the camera and I would just talk like this. Like I would have the camera in and I would just talk like this. Like, yo, what's up? It's Jermaine from YouTube. I'm making a video. I'm in San Francisco. I'm really cool, blah, 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 blah. So when I'm shooting that scene, I can't see anything. All right. I don't know what my background looks like. I don't know if it's dark. I don't know if it's like I'm, I'm in the sun. I don't know if my face is just like out of shot. I don't know if the, this thing's dirty and it's fogged up because what will happen is this thing can fog up and it'll make your shoot look really weird. Like it'll look really foggy. And if this thing fogs up and I'm talking or if this thing fogs up and I'm driving, like I'm not going to pay it any attention. I'm just going to keep talking and I'll notice it later. Like, after I pull the data off the memory card, I'll say, I'll see that, oh crap, that scene was screwed up. But with this camera, since I got this flip out screen, like I can see the scene before I film. So I can just come here and pull out my camera and I can see, well, I don't want that in my background. Or I can like see, oh, it's way too bright. Or, you know, I, I just don't, I, you can see, but you can see if you're in focus. Like I can see, okay, my head is like here. So I need to put the camera like here or, I want to do it here, you can see yourself, it makes it awesome. Now this camera would be useless for vlogging if I did not have a microphone. So the microphone I use is this Rogue video mic and it just snaps right on top like so and you just screw this thing down and then there's this button on the side, you just connect it here, you're all set, you're ready to go and you're ready to start making magic. And right when you cut the camera on, you can see, I don't have a memory card in here, of course, but when you cut the camera on, you can see the, um, you can see the microphone here. There's like a button, I don't know if you guys can see it, but. Now 
whenever I talk, like the microphone thing goes up. So when I'm out vlogging, like I can even see. So usually when I'm out vlogging, I'm like this. So I can literally see if the microphone is recording because every, I've actually filmed a few scenes where like the microphone was not recording. And as you can see, like the audio is picking up. It's really important. I, right when I first got this camera, like an entire scene and I had no audio because this was not pushed in all the way. It was just pushed in just enough. And the only audio that I was getting was the audio from the camera. And the audio from the camera is not, is nowhere as good as the audio from this mic. Um, so after this setup, I was stoked. The autofocus on this thing is pretty cool. Um, that was the main reason why I decided to move up to a DSLR and to stop shoes and to stop using my iPhone 6S and to stop using this was because of autofocus. If you are getting into YouTube videos and you want to make more and more YouTube videos, um, that might be something you might want to look into. Um, I was watching another YouTuber's video. This girl was um, talking about her camera setup and she had a camera here, and she had a camera here and she's sitting like here and she's looking at this camera, she's talking to this camera and she you know, finishes this sentence and she looks over at this camera and she starts the next sentence. But in the video, you just see her head turn from here and it goes to here and her face is like out of focus for about a half a second and then instantly her face is in focus. And when I saw that, I was like, dude, it's time for me to uh, you know, step my game. It's time for me to get a DSLR. After I saw that video, I was looking around and I thought, okay, the Canon 7D or the Canon 70D, those are definitely the most popular DSLRs that YouTubers use on YouTube. So I was thinking about getting one of those. And then I thought, well, maybe I don't because those cameras have been around for a while. And the upgrades are very little that Canon like puts on their cameras. So I thought of, you know, checking out Panasonic and then I found this camera. This camera cost about $800. Actually, I got mine for $600. Got a little deal from Best Buy. Um, and then the video rogue might cost about a hundred dollars. You could probably get it online, like Amazon, maybe seventy. Everything in here, I'll definitely leave links in the description below, so you guys can find this stuff pretty easily. But this was the camera I was using up until about three weeks ago. Then I got this one. This is a Sony HX80, and. This is my new favorite camera. Just because I can do stuff like this with this camera. Just stick it in my pocket. N not just stick it in my pocket, unlike the GoPro, because remember with the GoPro, I could easily stick the GoPro in my pocket too. This camera has a flip out screen on the back. So I can see when I'm in focus. I can check out my backgrounds. And another thing about this camera, it doesn't record in 4K. This camera does not record in 4K, but actually I'm not that big a fan of 4K right now because if I want to shoot 4K, I can with this camera. 4K is just not really catching on like people thought it would. 4K will take off when Apple and Samsung make 4K screens on phones. Right now the iPhone 6S is 720p and the iPhone 6s plus is 1080p well this camera right here shoots in 1080p so if you're watching this on an iphone 6 plus you're seeing it as it was shot okay now if i use this camera and record in 4k and you watch it on an iphone 6 plus iphone 6s plus you won't even really see the difference like you're only going to see the 1080p so that's what i'm doing majority of the people on youtube don't watch 4k so I'm not gonna waste my time putting 4K content out there. Every now and then I'll make a 4K video. Actually, this video is 4K, but you know what? It's so much easier to make vlogs in 1080p. Like, it's so much easier. You wanna see a video of how I edit my vlogs like a boss? Definitely give me a thumbs up. If I can get, you know, maybe 100 thumbs up, I would probably make a video talking about how I edit my vlogs and teach everyone. Battery life now, whole nother topic. Battery life on the GoPro is not so bad. But you also gotta think this camera is really small. It's not using a lot of energy and it also does not have a screen to power on like these cameras, like the screen on the back and this screen here. 
And things like autofocus and stuff like that uses up a lot of battery, and this camera does not have autofocus, so this camera is pretty good on battery. Um, this camera here, on the other hand, before I got this camera, I was reading reviews and um, looking at other YouTubers' videos, and a lot of people said that the battery life on this camera was not so great. Well, when I got it, I thought that the battery life was okay. I remember going to a Donald Trump protest. I had this camera out shooting for, I don't know, two or three hours, like pretty much nonstop, and the battery did not die on me. And on that day, I planned to leave as soon as my battery died. And I actually stayed through the whole protest slash rally because my battery never died. And I remember leaving, going home, going all the way back home, and I still had battery. And I thought to myself, huh, that's not so bad. Now for vlogging, on the other hand, that was at a rally. However, when I was at that rally, I was not using stuff like autofocus. And I was also shooting in 1080p. Now, when I would vlog like on the street, I would shoot in 4K and I would also shoot with autofocus. And I noticed that, yeah, the battery life did not last as long. When I would shoot um, those scenes, I would get mainly a day of battery life. Like I would just have to charge a battery every day, which is not bad because you can always just buy an extra battery. So I didn't really think it was that big of a deal. Now back to the Sony HX80. This camera, I really love the battery life on this camera. I actually thought the battery life on this would suck because every time you put it on, the lens like comes out, like it goes back and forth like that. So I actually thought the battery life would die I thought the battery life would really suck on this camera. I thought that, man, this thing's gonna die, like, I'm gonna charge it every night. Actually, I don't charge this camera every night. I charge this camera, like, every other night. I went three days on this camera. Um, on the third day, it did die on me because I actually wanted it to die on me. I wanted to see, you know, how long it takes to die once it gets to one bar. And, you know, you can get a, maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes out of it. It really depends on what you're doing. If you're shooting videos or if you're taking photos, it varies. But I was actually, I was really surprised that I was able to get that much footage out of one battery out of this camera. And then the audio on this camera versus the audio on this. Oh, man. These two, the audio sound great. Okay. Audio sounds incredible. Main reason I stopped using the GoPro is because of the audio. The audio. I would film and I would get a lot of background noise because of the microphone's right here. Background noise is not a problem if you are like using this camera for a special scene and you're gonna like, you know, add voice over later or if you're gonna add music to it later. Definitely will be a problem with this camera. But for vlogging, like walking down the street and vlogging, um, I kind of got annoyed with this camera after a while because certain things would happen. Every now and then I would try to cut it on and it wouldn't come on. Or if I tried to connect it to my phone, sometimes it just would not connect to my phone. Things like that just really got frustrating with this camera. But if you're using this camera as like a secondary camera, this is a perfect camera because it's just not your main camera. Now for vlogging, this is my main camera. And for my home setup, this is my main camera. And for talking on the phone, that's my iPhone. I used to use my iPhone to make all my videos, but that got really old really fast because I would be... I would go to the financial district in San Francisco and I would set up my phone for a time-lapse video and I'm there for like 20 minutes shooting a time-lapse video and now I don't have a phone. So what am I gonna do? So now with this camera, like, I can literally set this camera up for a time-lapse shot and then I can have my phone there and I can play on my phone, I can check my Facebook stats, I can um, respond to comments, I can you know, do stuff, I can do other stuff. But when you use your phone for everything, it kind of slows you down, you know? You can't get that scene because you you're shooting with this scene or I'm over here I'm shooting a time lapse but I actually want to vlog like, I want to talk about something that just happened but I gotta wait because I got this camera in use so it really helps to have multiple cameras it really helps but anyway guys I'm gonna keep this video short definitely give me a thumbs up if you like this video and if you want to see that video of me editing my vlogs I'll definitely come out with that one also um, everything I talked about here I'm gonna leave links in the description below so you guys can check out the specs check out the pricing figure out if this is a camera that you want to buy or if this is not a camera that you want to buy and if you think this video will help a friend definitely share it and thanks a lot for watching Definitely subscribe. Peace.